All right, welcome back to the circus. Got a lot planned today. Um, first off, <clears throat> my little uh, pillow block bearings for the swamp cooler came in. I'm gonna go put one on. Lady ordered me two, but whatever. I only need one. So I'm gonna go up there and throw that other one on real quick. Um, I'm not, not gonna make too much noise because it's only 7 8 o'clock whatever in the morning I'm gonna come in clean up the tools uh, just clean up everything uh, put the stuff where I want it clean up some crap over here because that's where I'm gonna want that little sander thing um, and then I'm gonna come in and when it gets a little later when I can make a lot of noise I'm going to cut this floor. So, like I said before, uh, I'm not going to weld this floor in. I don't think. Let's see, it's going to go about right there. So, it should sit flush or flat um, on this floor. If it doesn't sit flat on that floor that's screwed in, so this pan is screwed in. Um, if I can't get it to sit flat or flush or whatever, then I'll weld it in. But uh, if it fits pretty flat in there, I'm just going to use some uh, weather strip. Some weather strip and then uh, screw it down. And uh, But I probably won't screw it down. I'll probably screw it down just to get the holes. Um, but yeah, I still have to do, still have to do a lot of other stuff in here. And then once that's done, I'm going to do the wiring and get this truck running. So you guys tell me what you think. Should I order in some floor pans? Um, I don't think, man, I'm... I know I'm I don't know you guys tell me should I get some floor pans and then uh, weld them in here and then the whole rocker panels um, you guys tell me what you think I should do that or just push that off on the back burner and uh, realistically what I could do because I won't be doing any more damage um, I can just get some uh, some sheet metal, um, you know, grind this. I'll, I'll obviously clean up all this rust <clears throat> and get some PAR, POR, P-O-R 15. Um, and I'll put it all over this, all over this rust once I clean it up. But I'm kind of thinking on just coming in with a sheet of, you know, some sheet metal and putting it in here and uh, just welding it up because the floor panel need replaced anyway so I don't know you guys tell me because that would be the easiest cheapest way and you guys know I'm on a budget on this I'm trying to spend zero money on this um, so far I've just got labor a lot of labor, nuts and bolts, um, basically on this project. So I'm gonna try to keep it as low as I can. Um, you guys tell me what you think. Um, I got wheels and tires in, or wheels and tires into this, but it will need tires. But I'm gonna take these tires off anyways. And since I have a powder coating, powder coating guys now, um, I'll take these wheels and get them powder coated. Um, once I get tires for them, but that's later on down the road. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Probably whole floor pan and rocker panels, all this stuff. Eventually, or now, or just sheet metal. I'm leaning towards sheet metal. Um, so anyway. Um... 
yeah, so that's going to be today. But let me go up there, throw that thing in the swamp cooler before it gets too hot, and then they turn the swamp cooler on inside the house because it is Saturday. But Kate is home. Um, and then get back down here and clean up everything. So I will be back. I'll show you guys what I did, what happened, what I got. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Toolbox pretty much cleaned up. <clears throat> Just had to use this tool. Use a brand new Pittsburgh Universals, oh, whatever, half inch, to take the seat out. Project crack pipe. As you can see, that wheel is kind of straight. That wheel is not. It's because I didn't just a measurement alignment on it. Woo Christine! Scary. No, I'm just kidding. Just the wind, of course. Anyway, took the seat out and blew everything out. Because I'm going to get in here and make it rain. Sparks, that is. Texas gold. Anyway, hold on. Let me just put some crap away. So I haven't, haven't done it, obviously, yet because I had to push the truck out. <clears throat> I wanted to do it out here. So, that's basically where it's gonna sit. I'm gonna round these corners here, and then I'm gonna mark it. <clears throat> it's basically it's probably gonna sit about right there. So I'm gonna round the corners real quick with the grinder. The kid should be out here doing that because he likes to destroy stuff. So he should be out here uh, um, grinding and playing with the grinder. Anyway, so you can see the extent of the rust. It's my foot. That's where you put the sensor to open the door. Put it in there and then the door will open. Anyway, just got to take out some stuff, take out the lights. Or that stupid blue light thing um, but yeah so and then I'm gonna see if the kid will help me bring that bed over here set it on so let me let me do that and uh, <clears throat> that'll be next video because this video is already too much as it is anyway so thanks for watching guys stay tuned to the next video and that piece will be in hopefully um, I do want to, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I will have to do an alignment on that, obviously. Not right now. Um, anyway, whatever. I got to bring the radiator down about inch, inch and a half because the fan blade's sitting about that far below. Or, yeah, below the fan. So the fan is like that much on the bottom of the radiator. So, I guess below the radiator. So, I need about that much more to come down. Anyway, whatever. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I got to work on the wife's car, too, eventually. So, I'm trying to get this stuff done um, for you guys that are interested in watching Project Crack Pipe. So, anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, below, dislike. I don't care. Gives me views. Subscribe over here. Check out my boy One and Glenn over here. Watch my previous video over here. Later.